Hello friends, today we will discuss one simple but important concept. How we can clone an array of objects. So for this example, I will start with a very simple use case. So in your real world scenario, you may have some complicated different scenarios or different structure. But all the concept I discussed today will be applicable to any use cases. Let's say we have an array which contain two element, both are object. You know, the first one is key value pair key is A and value is 1 and second element key is B and value is 2. So the objective is to create a clone of it, create a copy of it. How you can do that? The first thing come into the mind, why we need this tutorial? Why can't we create simple a constant copy and is equal to SN this array? Won't it solve the problem? So you may be think, right in thinking. But that will cause some side effect, undesirable side effect. Let's explore real quickly uh, what, what I mean by that. So we define as this same array here. And if you try to copy this, this is exactly not copying this value. This is copying the reference. Reference means you think as both are address. So this copy and array will contain the address. But the content they both will say, you know. So in this case, if you just try to print copy, and array both will have the same value at initially okay because both are pointing to the same address and value also will seem to be same but what if you want to change into the array so do you want this copy to be modified also may not be you you be otherwise if you want this copy to be reflected then why on earth you will try to change this create a copy of it so you want a two distinct set of values isn't it but if you try to change this, uh, you know, uh, array 0, 0, the first element A, the value to 2, then this, uh, the original array would be modified. Let's see that how this, uh, our updated array also. So if you notice here, this value also got modified, you know. So that means, if you try to copy using the simple assignment operator, only the reference will copy. So both will point to the same place. If you change in one using one array, other array also get modified. So this is not a desirable effect. How we can make this copy work properly so that once we modify this, uh, you know, original array so that, you know, the copied array should not be modified. That is what all our intention. So you maybe uh, want to be a little bit excited to use some kind of leverage the spread operator. Do you think this, you know, spreading operator will help you in this case to you? Like dot 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 array and you know, you can copy to the copy. So what will happen in that case? Will it solve the problem? Unfortunately not. So this will also lead to the same issues, you know. So for example, let's let me comment it out here. Here I copy using the spread operator, but it will also create a copy. There is no problem with that. So copy array also will contain the same values, you know. But if you try to modify this content, and if you try to print array and copy, so both will point to the uh, you know same value. But one interesting thing that if you try to you know uh, use a primitive and array the zero one two second index. updated value so if you use this then all only you know original array will be modified so the primitive ones you can change it so the updated array won't be modified so let's see what will happen in this case so in this case assignment if you see both are getting modified so this particular approach is a little bit different and uh, you know uh, advanced but uh, if you case uh, try to copy or manipulate the object so it doesn't work so object also if you change the original array so the modified array also will be reflected but if you change this primitive so the primitive value is not going to reflect it so this copy will work in the primitive case not with the object so what are the various options available in our arsenal so can we do this so can we achieve this result wherever we we want to modify this array a field and we don't want to reflect this copy object as well Yes, that is known as a little bit of deep copy. It is a bit tricky concept. 
there are few lots of utilities there lots of different way to resolve this problem because the deep copy is a little bit uh, you know uh, complicated to implement by the java runtime javascript runtime so they try to skip it uh, skip it so you know but let's let's see a couple of example the first one is very common and more, more popularly used if you don't want to use any third party library first you pass an original array and using this json stringify this you no need to import any library this is already available into the javascript browser or any node runtime once you do the stringify so this array object structure will convert to a json string representation and using this json parse you convert again that string representation to the back also back to the object notation so in this case you are serializing it means the converting object to string or deserializing it converting this json string to the array so does it cause any performance issue yes it may be but if your structure json structure is very big but if you have a you know small or you know less than 100 field or 500 field it, you won't see much differences but if your structure is very huge you may see any issues but let's see this whether it will solve our problem or not so let's comment it out this copy using this uh, json string so here we are changing two and we are changing this primitive value but if you notice over here this two carefully notice here original value we have modified to two but this updated copy one is not modified it is still pointing to the original one this original array copied array exactly same only the changes is constrained or confined to the original array only this is exactly the result what we can expect you know so this is working is there any other better approach yes we can evaluate a couple of approach so here like using array map function this won't change the original array okay array map function is always immutable so it won't modify this array function array so it will iterate over each and every element so you will get like a means this first object then again it will go the second object and inside once we got that this is we can use object assign method to create a copy of it so again if you have a natural structure so this may not work but for the simple you know object it will copy but if you object inside object this may lead to some issues but for the time being if you can use object assign you can uh, you know copy that and that uh, updated copy of the element will be copied over to ob uh, 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 other updated array so let's see how it behave so we see this example so here if you see this is like the original array modified by these two operation and this is our copied array if you see the copied array is not modified and not reflected this change which is a good thing which is the same as the new array so if you try to change into anything copy so this original array also won't be modified okay and third is the same as the second approach but little bit uh, funky syntax so here also we are using array.my function to iterate over the each element and inside that we are returning a object see here it is implicit return and to return uh, this curly bracket you have to use another bracket syntax you know because this is necessary and using the spread operator individual element will be spread across and a new object will be created here okay and this updated array will contain this uh, clone copy so let's see whether it, this this is helping us or not so so here this is the original array modified by these two operation and here it is the copied array which is not got any side effect okay hope you learned something today just to summarize it this first operation copy so if you change any values both will point to the same uh, same array so if you change one array it both will be modified the only difference if you change in this case primitive also so both will be modified but if you use a spread operator like this so spread operator if you both will uh, take the same reference but if you change this you know primitive values primitive value won't get reflected but if you inside the object if you try to change then both will be reflected but in case of these three operation like json stringify and serializing deserializing using json tool and using this map function 
with conjunction of with object sn and uh, spread operator if you change in one place it, it the changes is not going to reflect it with the original array or copy and uh, vice versa so it, it there are so many things to digest but hope you learn something today have a good day ahead bye bye